Okay, let's talk about if else statements, right? So if else statements are if statements that are used not only to check uh, whether something is true, right? That's what a regular old if statement does. It checks a criteria. If that criteria is true, some code runs, right? And if else statements actually gives us some additional options, right? Not only will it check to see if a condition is true and run that code, but it will also run a code if that condition is false, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to check a condition and then there will be code that runs if that condition is true. And the else will be, well, we're basically saying if that condition is not true, here's some other code to run. So instead of it just being uh, one bit of code that will run in a particular case, it's actually a branching bit of code where we'll run one code in one situation and a different code if that situation is false, right? So we're going to take a quick look. Here's uh, some example code. We're going to do a slightly different example in CMU Sandbox, right? But what this one is, is saying is we're, if we check the mouse X value and that value is greater than 200, then we're going to draw a circle, okay? And if uh, that's not true, right? When we use the word else, notice there's not a condition after else. Else just means if the if statement's condition in this case, mouse x is greater than 200. If that's false, then we're going to run what's in the else code. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, CMU's sandbox, right? And we have this example up here. Let me clear it out, right? We have this example up here from uh, from the, the if statement, right? So what we're going to do instead is we're going to take uh, this if statement and we're going to say, okay, tab back, right? Because remember, if we're tabbed over here, we're saying that we're still inside of the if statements code, right? We're still running the stuff that should execute only when the if statement is true, right? So by tabbing back once, we're now leaving the if statement and that allows us to run a separate bit of code. So now I'm going to run the else statement, okay? The else statement does not have a condition after it because this is the thing that will run only when the if statement is false. So I don't need to include any additional conditions. We already know what the condition is. The condition is when the if statement is false, right? And then let's take this code for the star and put it inside of that, right? So by tabbing over the star, I'm saying this is the code that will run when the else statement is what's gonna execute, right? So now either this statement will run about the circle, and if this one doesn't run, we have something that will run instead, right? So let's run this and see. Okay, so what we're claiming here is if I drag and the mouse X is greater than 200, so let's go over there. Here's where the mouse is greater than 200. And I drag, I should get a circle, right? And there's my circle, right? If it's not greater than 200, that would be less than or equal to 200. And I drag, now I'm getting a star, right? So if else statements are very powerful because they let us set up a situation that we want to, to run some code and then set up a different situation when that code is false. So we can actually have an outcome for true and for false, right? So that's what an if else statement is, okay? As a side note, okay, we also wanna talk about what happens when there's multiple if statements, right? So this is kind of an extra last little bit of, it, of code that we're gonna run here, okay? Multiple if statements, right? So multiple if statements are possible in, in a program, okay? But just to make sure that it's clear, um, these things are going to run separately from each other, and we're always going to start off with the first if statement and run that, and then we'll check the second one. So let's take this example. We're going to get rid of this code here, okay? Uh, we'll leave the mouse drag, right? And we're going to just put in the uh, if mouse x is greater than 200, we're going to run the circle, okay? And then let's just change this one to an if, okay? If mouse y is greater than 200 we're going to run the star. Okay, so let's think about what's going to happen here. Okay, we're going to hit run. Nothing happens because we have not drug, uh, clicked and dragged the mouse. Okay, it says if mouse x is greater than 200, okay, that would be all on the right-hand side, we're going to we're gonna draw a circle. So I'm drawing a circle. Okay, uh, the second one says if mouse y is greater than 200, draw a star. There it is. I drew a star. Okay, this space down here is where mouse y is greater than 200. This space is where mouse x is greater than 200. This space down here is where both of those are true. And if you notice, now both of them run, right? So we can have multiple if statements and only the ones that are true will execute. And there will be times where both of them will execute, right? But they are independent of each other. They have nothing to do with each other, right? And But it is possible to have them. And it's, if you notice what happened here is it, it executed them in order. And I know that because uh, in CMU, whatever the second piece of code is will be drawn on top, 
right? So if two items are gonna overlap each other, the second one will always be on top. And in this case, it executed the mouse X first and drew the circle. Then it executed the mouse Y is greater than 200 and drew the star, right? So I know that the first one ran and then the second one ran and you can see that if I switch these bits of code, even though it's gonna kind of come out with the same outcome, right? There it is, right? If I run this now and I go down here, I'm not seeing the star anymore because the star is kind of hidden behind the circle, right? So it's important that when you're doing if statements uh, that you remember that they will execute in order from top to bottom, right? Even if both of them are true, uh, you might not see both of them if one of them is kind of on top of the other, okay? So again, if you find this, uh, this information helpful, uh, if this helps you understand uh, if else statements or multiple if statements, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave any comments below if you have any specific questions about uh, if else statements or any of the exercises that are related to them, right? I'm not going to um, actually go through each additional exercise that's on CMU, right? But if you have a specific question, I can kind of generally walk you through uh, some of the process, right? So thanks for watching this one. Uh, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be monitoring them and I'll answer them there.